Sam's a great fit for cloud computing because fundamentally it was designed for the cloud. And we had our early adopters such as Amazon, you know, that worked with us and made sure that we had a great architecture for the cloud in the early days. We got a lot of new vendors on board during the last few years and it hasn't stopped. So for example, you know, just recently, you know, Verizon Teramec developed a new cloud based on Xen for the, exactly the same reasons Amazon did. Xen's a fantastic fit for the ARM architecture because fundamentally the ARM um, CPU virtualization extensions were designed for type 1 hypervisors and that you know, means there's great performance and great potential to optimize going forward. You know, ARM added virtualization extensions two years ago, we now have a functional stack and one of the things which really surprised me is that that enabled a whole range of new market segments and we didn't expect this, it just sort of happened and it happened at a surprisingly fast rate. So since Xen's become a collaborative project, we've seen a huge increase in media coverage. You know, two orders of magnitude what it used to be like. We've seen lots of new innovations, uh, for example, in embedded automotive, and it's been just a great experience. Some of the innovations we've recently seen in the Xen community, such as you know, automotive, embedded, they've been also really good uh, for traditional Xen project use cases. So, you know, if I look at automotive, um, real-time scheduling is really important. And that's also benefiting cloud and data center virtualization, for example, for you know, video transcoding use cases or online gaming. Developers should get involved with the same project because it's cool technology, lots of innovation happening, you know, lots of different areas. If you like low-level stuff, you know, it's a perfect fit, fit for you. Um, lots of great energy in the community and we tend to be really very welcoming. I'm really excited about the future of Xen because we have so much activity in new market segments such as embedded automotive, you know, NFE. And a great thing about it is that many of those uh, activities are benefiting you know, server virtualization at the cloud as well. So really, in my view, the future is bright. <laughs>